Okay, this video is going to be about number two from the Calc BC exam in 2017, and it is a polar question. Um, so you're going to have to find an area, do another thing with area, and then do some weird thing between the curves. So let's take a look. Um, the first question, um, we're told that we have a region R, we have a region S. The first question is all about uh, finding the area of region R, which is that smaller area there. And R is bounded by um, F of theta which is 1 plus sine of theta times cosine of 2 theta. So if in the problem you're actually given a, a f of theta and a g of theta, if you're not sure which is which, uh, put your calculator's graphing mode to polar and graph them both, and you'll see. Um, so f of theta is the one bounding region r. And we want to find the area. So the area kind of uh, looks like this. And so area is going to be 1 half. The integral from, so we go from 0 to 2 pi, uh, pi over 2, sorry. And then, um, so the number one thing people forget is that 1 half. So if you've got the 1 half, you've already accomplished that. And then integral from 0 to pi over 2. And then the second thing people forget is it's going to be f of theta, but then you have to square f of theta, and then d theta. And then you just grab a calculator and let it tell you that that's approximately 0.648. And uh, that's really all there is to it. So let's take a look at B. So in B, uh, we're going to have a ray, theta equals k, that's going to divide the region S into two equal parts. And we want to write, but not solve, an equation involving one or more integrals whose solution gives the value of k. And so there's a number of ways to do this. And um, what I'm going to do first is just kind of label things up. So that's G, and this is F. And then uh, if we cut the region in half, so I'm kind of eyeballing this to say I think that maybe cuts S in half um, by area. And so this ray right here is theta equals k. So what I want to do is um, I want to write something that tells me the value of k, and I'm not going to solve it. So what I'm thinking is I'll find all of S and then cut that in half and then go from 0 to k. Um, with basically the same integrand. So let's see that happen. So I'm going to find all of s right away. So this is going to be 1 half, and then we're going from 0 to pi over 2. So integral from 0 to pi over 2. And then uh, the outer, so you're really just doing a big area minus a little area, which is why you have to square and then subtract rather than subtract and then square. So it's going to be uh, the bigger radius squared. So that's g of theta and then squared minus the little radius, and then squared, and then d theta. So that would give me the entire area of s, and I only want half of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that thing where I take half of s and set it equal to the uh, basically the region from 0 to k. So let's see. Um, and I think I'm going to jump ahead. So I'm going to do 1 half of s. So instead of writing s, for some reason, I decided to rewrite that integral. So there you go. So that's 1 half of s. And that has to be equal to 1 half the integral from 0 to k of the exact same integrand. So it's the larger radius squared minus the smaller radius squared. So that'll definitely do it. Um, or you might prefer to solve these in a slightly different way. So you might prefer to go from 0 to k and then also from k to pi over 2 and just say that those two integrals are equal. So if you want to do that, I'm just going to like paste it onto the screen here so you can see what that would look like. So that would look like this. Um, I actually, it turns out the TI Inspire cast can actually solve that, and it solved it, and it gave me what I considered to be a reasonable value. Um, so I don't know if it's worth trying that on the AP exam if they tell you not to, but if you finish really quickly and you have the time, um, you might as well, because this is a calculator question. So uh, I'm going to move on now to part C, and C is just weird. It's not, it's not even really polar. I mean, I guess you have to understand how polar works. One thing that confused me, so let me just tell you the problem. Um, we're going to let w of theta be the distance between points with polar coordinates f of theta theta and g of theta theta. So those are your two ordered pairs. And we need to write an expression for w and then find the average value of w on the interval from 0 to pi over 2. So it's really not that hard. You need to understand how polar works. So... Um, First, we're going to write down what w of theta is. So it's supposed to be the distance between the points. So um, if I, here's, here's a ray going from the origin. And then the distance between the points is really just the distance between the curves. So um, it's that little segment there. 
And that means that I need to know the functions, but I've already identified them as g and f. So really, w of theta is just g of theta minus f of theta. So that's actually what w is equal to. And then I need to find w sub a, which is the average value of w from 0 to pi over 2. So I know that average value is the integral divided by the interval. So it's going to be the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of w of theta, d theta and then divided by pi over 2 minus 0. And then I'm going to let a calculator do the work, and I get approximately uh, 0 0.485. And uh, that's actually just the answer to that question. So let's move on to part D, which references part C. Um, so here's a calculator work. I, I defined W and then uh, had it calculated. And I forgot I put that there, so that's why I'm telling you that now. Um, so the next thing is part D. So in part D, we want to uh, find theta for which w of theta equals w sub a, so the average value. So let's do that. So we need w of theta, remember, is g of theta minus f of theta. And w sub a, uh, we found, and what you should have done is you should have stored that. Even if you didn't at the time, you should have gone back and stored it. So we have this. So store w sub a on your calculator. I stored it as w a. Um, and now we need to somehow solve the equation. So I'm going to just write this out, w of theta equals w sub a. And my calculator told me that theta that makes that happen is 0.518. Um, I have no reason to doubt that. And so the question now is, is w of theta increasing or decreasing at that value of theta? So I'm going to find w prime of that value. So w prime of 0.518, negative 0.582. Um, and then I can answer the question because that's negative, so w is decreasing at that value, so I'm just going to write that down. So since w prime of 0.518 is less than 0, w of t is decreasing at theta equals 0.518. And that's it. Um, I'll show you some calculator screens. So to find, uh, to find the intersection, I graphed w of x, so make sure you use x. So I graphed w of x, and I graphed W A, the value I had stored, and I found the intersection point. And I actually stored the um, x coordinate of that intersection point as uh, the letter A on my calculator, or the variable A, I should say. And then I went to this screen, and um, I checked to make sure that A was actually what I thought it was, and then I found the derivative at A. Um, so that's the whole question. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.